Blog Talk Radio. This is Bustin' Loose in Faith with none other than Apostle Dudley Tebow and Prophetess Lisa Tebow. Welcome, welcome, welcome to a broadcast that brings you word and encouragement for your soul. We want you to remember that you don't have no worries. All you need is faith in God. Bustin' Loose in Faith airs Tuesdays and Fridays at 6 p.m. Central Time. Now, without further ado, let's get into this broadcast. And may God bless you. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. God is good and worthy to be praised, all praise, all glory, all honor belongs to Him this night and forevermore. Oh, Heavenly Father, we approach the dumb grace. Excuse me. Oh, Lord, we approach the dumb grace. We come to you, humble ourselves, and need our mighty hand here tonight. In the name of Jesus, Lord, just thank you and praise you because of your mercy, your grace, and your love. Just thank you and praise you because of who you are. That you are God and besides the ears, Lord, to worship in spirit and in truth. Oh, precious Father, we humble ourselves, and need our mighty hand on bended knees and bow down head, looking on to the hills from which coming our help, our help coming from you. In the name of Jesus, we bind up all technical difficulties and anything that try to hinder the word of God from going forth. In Jesus' precious and holy name, thank you for your husband's prayers on the request for most of all salvation to go forth and the kingdom of God may grow in 2024. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. If you have your Bible, man, like you open to the book of Psalms 37 and 5. And the word says, Commit thy way unto the Lord. Trust also in him, and he shall bring it to pass. Jeremiah 29, 11. For I know the thoughts I think towards you, says the Lord. Thoughts of peace and not of evil. To give you a future and a hope. Also here in the book of Proverbs 16 and 3. Commit thy works unto the Lord, and thy thoughts shall be established. This is the word of God for the people of God may the Lord in the bosom to the hearers and to the doers of his holy word. Brothers and sisters in Christ, just the next thing is I want to talk about what God has for you. It is for you. What God has for you. It is for you even now in 2024. Believers of Christ, God's plan for us are sure and true and faithful. So, child of God, no one knows the future. Each one of us makes plans on a daily basis without knowing what tomorrow may bring. Beloved, each one of us should consider our plan in light of God's plan. Remember this. At all times, plans you make and decisions you make by others can have an effect on your life and future plans. Yes, beloved, always consider God's plan first in 2024. You see, the Bible says in the book of Deuteronomy 8, verse 18, says, But thou shalt Remember the Lord thy God. For it is he that giveth power to get wealth, that he may establish his covenant, which he swore unto thy fathers, as it is this day. Believer of Christ, you have a hope and a future in Christ. Yet God has a purpose for your life. Beloved, no matter what happens in 2024, God is still in control. 
and he will continue to draw you back to his plan for your life. God has more in store for you in 2024. Bible says in the book of Ephesians 3 and 20, now unto him that is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or think according to the power that worketh in us. Yes, beloved, to commit your ways to the Lord is to build your life upon the value of God's kingdom. It is to bring your time, your talent, your treasure into full alignment with his will and purpose. Yes, beloved, trust that God is in complete control and that he knows what your hope is and what you hope for. So live faithfully. Do what God prescribes and live a faithful life as unto him from this day forward. We are reminded in the book of First Corinthians chapter 2, verse 9. But as, as it is written, eyes have not seen, nor ears heard, neither have entered into the heart of man the things which God has prepared for them that love him. Yes, beloved, what is meant for you is for you. What is meant for you is for you. Believe of Christ, God has a purpose and a plan for your life. Child of God, no matter what you are going through at this hour or in your life, just know this. One thing what God has, it is for you. Yes, you may not have everything that you desire or need right now. But just know and believe there's one thing what God has for you. It is for you. It doesn't matter. It, don't, it doesn't matter if you've been, it doesn't matter if you are young or old, black or white, rich or poor, educated or not. Just know this and believe there's one thing in 2024, what God has for you, it is for you. It does not matter if you are single, married, divorced, or widow, what what God has for you, it is for you. Another thing that you must remember, even now, in 2024, that whatever God has for you, you don't have to lie about lie to get it. You don't have to steal in order to get it. You do not have to cheat anyone or anybody in order to get it. You don't have to politic in order to get what is for you. You see, God has everything planned out for your life. All we got to do is get in alignment with what the purpose is for our lives. You know that tailor-made assignment that he has preordained from the beginning of the time for you that only you can fulfill? Yes, my brothers and sisters in Christ. Always remember, in 2024, before it comes to a close, be determined. You started out well. Now it's time to finish out well and strong for the glory of God in 2024. Yes, beloved, instead of you as a child of God mattering someone in order to get what God has for you. You need to pray. As the Bible says in Luke 18, verse 1, the be cause of the verse. Hallelujah. To pray 
the B clause of the verse says to pray. Hallelujah. Pray without ceasing. According to first testimony by men ought. Luke 18 and 1 B clause of the verse says, men ought to always pray and don't faint or lose heart. First Thessalonians 5, 17 says, to pray without ceasing, not always audibly, but have a prayerful mindset throughout the day. Yes, my brothers and sisters in Christ, let the Lord fight your battle and let him bring it to pass. You see, believe of Christ, what God has for you, it may not come to you when you want it, want it to come. It may not come today, this Friday, or next week, next month, or even this year. But just be encouraged and remember. And, and remember this, what God has for you, it is for you. So just keep up, just keep knowing this and believe in this one thing. What he has for you is for you. And it will come to you in God's own time, all timing. Yes, sometimes we want God to be in a hurry to move us over to the next level, to promote us. But God knows when you're ready. He knows and he will bring it to pass in your life. All you got to do is and stretch out in faith and keep believing. Keep trusting. The Bible says in Proverbs 3, verse 5 and 6, trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not to thy own understanding. Nor your ways acknowledge him and he shall direct thy path. When God has for you, it is for you. So, child of God, in order for you to receive what God has for you, you have to be in position in order to receive what God has for you. The first thing that we must do <clears throat> is to be in right standing with God. Here, the Bible says in the book of Psalms, 37, verse 3 through 5, trust in the Lord and do good. So shall thou dwell in the land, and verily thou shall be fed. Delight thyself also in the Lord, and he shall give thee the desires of thine heart. Commit thy way unto the Lord. Trust also in him and he shall bring it to pass. Yes, my brothers and sisters in Christ, what God has for you, what is meant for you, it is for you. So believer, so believer of Christ, hallelujah. So believer of Christ, you might, you might be someone who is very popular, but if your heart is not right with God, everyone may say yes to you, but God will say no. That is why the psalmist says in the book of Psalms, 139, 23 and 24, search me, O God, and know my heart. Try me and know my thoughts and see if there be any wicked ways in me, and lead me in the, ever, the everlasting. Beloved, if you want your heart right with God, you need to give your heart to Jesus Christ, the Lord and Savior of your life. Yes, my brothers and sisters in Christ, hear the psalmist. Says David here is saying, Search me, O oh God, 
That should be one of our priority in life, is to seek God's face. The Bible says in Matthew 6.33, but seek ye first, the kingdom of God and all his righteousness, and everything else shall be added. As we draw nigh to him, he'll draw nigh to us. Well, that's an awesome God that we serve. He sits high, but he looks low. He knows all by name, the very hair on our head. Yes, we are thankful and grateful for the God that we serve. He has all power in his hands. Yes, God knows how to direct you. He knows how to keep you. He has given us the Holy Spirit as our comforter that would, that would bring us into total truth of the Word of God. Yes, my brothers and sisters in Christ, God is able to make your heart right with Him. Yes, beloved, no matter how bad people may ridicule you, just know and believe this one thing what God has for you. It is for you. So tell them, God, the thing that God has for you, it is waiting for you, for your arrival to come. That's really a Christ. When God gives you what he has for you, he'll give you the understanding onto how to handle what he has given to you. The Bible says here, in the book of Philippians, chapter 4, verse 6 and 7, be anxious for nothing, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto God, and the peace of God, which passes all understanding, shall keep your heart and mind through Jesus Christ. Yes, we can't get in a hurry. We must hurry. We must we must live our lives totally and complete into God's hands. We must look on to the hill and which coming our help. Our help coming from the Lord. We must keep our mind on things above and not beneath. Because see the things on earth is temporal. The things on earth is temporary. Hallelujah. So we are moving forward in faith, believing God to direct our path. Where it says, them that are led by the Spirit of God, our sons of God. Yes, my brothers and sisters in Christ, as we come to God by faith, believing, trusting, and agreeing that he is able willing and ready to meet our each and every need. So the Bible says in Hebrews 11 and 1 that now, now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Hebrews 11 and 6 says, but without faith, it is impossible to please God. And them that, and them that come to him must believe that he is who he say he is. And he is a reward of them that diligently seek him. Hallelujah. So the thing that seeks God is us exercising our faith, stretching out, believing him, letting him be the one directing our footsteps. Let him be the one, hallelujah, that is helping us when we get a little weak. The Bible says, let him strengthen us in all areas of our lives. Isaiah 40 and 31 says, But those that wait on the Lord, he shall renew our strength. We shall mount up as wings of eagles. We shall run and not be weary. We shall walk and not think from this day forward. In the name of Jesus, have your way, Lord this night, 
and forevermore. Keep our, keep our mind and heart on you. Help us, Lord. Direct our footsteps. Beloved, don't allow time on worry. Instead, as a born again believer of Christ, invest your time in prayer. Tell them God, if you identify yourself to be a follower of Jesus Christ, people are watching your life. They are watching to see how you will handle trials and tribulations that come in your life. They are not impressed by you going to church or church service on Sunday morning or midweek or or all day. They are not impressed with you speaking in tongues, in spiritual language. What they want to see, they want to know if you are really trusting God day by day. In other words, your action speaks louder than words. Yes, my brothers and sisters in Christ, when unbelievers see you face problems, concerns, heartaches, and the stress of life with faith knowing, with faith knowing that God will take care of it. It is. It is proof of a genuine transformation that Jesus have accomplished much in your in your life. That's why it's so important for us to be tied up, tangled up, wrapped up in the things of God. That's why it's so important. Hallelujah. Soon as we get up to make a confession of faith, to let the devil know that for me and my house, we shall serve the Lord. We are in this world, but we're not of it. See, the word of God also helps us to understand in Matthew 6, 33, but seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. So, beloved, those words are very important because Jesus Christ is saying, instead of worrying, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and let that, let that be your number one priority in life on a daily basis. As beloved, strive more and more to, to become like Jesus Christ, who is King and King and Lord of Lord of every part of our lives. Seeking God's kingdom and his righteousness means that your righteous faith filled living pleases God and have become your number one priority, the highest priority in your life. We are reminded of what Isaiah 54, 17 said, that there is, there is no weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper. And every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment, thou shalt condemn. This is the heritage of the servant of the Lord. And that righteousness is of me, says the Lord. So, beloved, no matter the giant that you face, God is bigger than them all. No matter what may come your way, God still. Is in control. He has the last word in every situation of every believer of Christ. So remind yourself, encourage yourself in the things of God. Remember what Ephesians 6, verse 13 and 14 says Wherefore, take unto you the whole arm of God that you may be able to withstand 
in the evil days and having done all to stand. Stand therefore firmly. Yes, child of God, no matter how unqualified you may feel for the task set before you, with God, you are well equipped and ready to go forth. Remember this, in 2024, always, that God has given you everything you need to stand victorious against the enemy's schemes. Yes, the Bible says in John 10.10, 10, the thief come to kill, to steal, and to destroy. But Jesus came that we may have life and have it more abundantly. Yes, I thank God for Jesus, who is our sin example, the author and finisher of our faith, who, hallelujah, was able to help us. We must defeat the enemy, the devil, just like Jesus did when he was led by the Jordan River into the wilderness to be tempted of the devil. Yes, when Jesus at his weakest point, he was hungry. The enemy came to him and said, turn these rocks into bread. And Jesus, even in his weakness, even at the point of hunger not being able to eat, he said, Satan, it is written, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. Yes, my brothers and sisters in Christ, only the righteousness of Jesus Christ and it's available for us to come boldly to a storm of grace in that name of above every other name. Yes, we must, according to Ephesians chapter 6, verse 13 and 14, says, Wherefore, take unto you the whole arm of God, that you may be able to withstand in the evil day. And I would done all to stand, stand therefore firmly, rooted in the things of God. Yes, child of God, no matter how unqualified you may feel for the task set before you, with God, you are well equipped. Remember this always, brother and sister in Christ, that our God has given us everything we need to stand victorious against the enemy's scheme. All you have to do is in order to stand. Stand on God's word. Stand on God's promises in 2024. Child of God, the God of the universe wants you to be healthy and wealthy. So believe in Christ. With God. With God. With God. You, you and I as more again believers, we make the majority. So believe of Christ, what God has for you, it is for you. So trust his time and trust his plan. Each plan that God got for you it is a plan of building his foundation and keeping it strong and keeping it strong through each in every trial he may have become in 2024. So, beloved, remember, God's time is always right, and God's time is always on time. So, believe of Christ, God's time is always perfect in everything that he does. So, embrace the belief that God's time is always right because it can transform how you navigate life's uncertainty by trusting that God is always on time. You learn to find peace and confidence in his perfect plan. Yes, beloved, 
God is always on time. Even when our human perception struggles with delay. Yes, God may answer answer us three ways. Yes, no, or not yet. He knows what's best. We sometimes feel that we know what's best for our lives. But I'm reminded that Father knows best. I'm reminded that all power lies in his hand. I'm reminded that we don't know what tomorrow holds. When the door, the one that created us, the one that spoke in the book of Genesis, when the earth was void and when our form dark, and he spoke and said, let that be light. And immediately, light appeared. That's the type of God that we serve. So commit thou what thou works unto the Lord, and thy thoughts shall be established. What God has for you, it is for you in 2024. Yes, remember what, what the Bible says, according to Ephesians 3 and 20. Now unto him that is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all that we can act or think according to the power that working in us. Yes, my brothers and sisters in Christ, we are so thankful and grateful for everything that God has done, is doing, and will do. Remember again, First Corinthians 2 and 9. But as it is written, I have not seen, nor ears heard, neither have entered into the heart of man the things which God had prepared for them that love him. So if you say you love the Lord and you're a born again believer of Christ, God got you. All we got to do is keep moving forward in faith, stretching out, believing, trusting, and agreeing. The greater is he that's within us than he is in the world. We serve an awesome God here tonight. In Jesus' precious holy name we pray. We are grateful and we are thankful in the God that we serve. He knows us all by name. The very hairs on our head. He knows how to get our attention. He knows what it takes in order to build us up in the faith. The trying of our faith. Working patient. That patient have a good work. Let's not be tired of complaining. But let us be. Let us be content in whatever state that we find ourselves in. Because we know that God is able, willing, and ready to meet our each and every need from this day forward. Amen. 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 Yes, as we get ready to bring this, to bring this message to a close in 2024, we are so grateful and thank you for everything that God has done, is doing, and will do. From this night forward, if you would like to, to write to us, you can write to us at least on WTBO, 8544 West Belford Avenue, number 715, Houston, Texas, 77071. Again, if you'd like to write, write to us, encourage, send an encouraging word or a seat offering, you can do so by addressing your correspondence or your letter to the Lisa Tebow, 8544 West Belfort Avenue, number 715, used to take 77071. God's will in Jesus, Terry. Amen. As we bring this abbreviated uh, message to a close, because of prior engagement that we have to attend to, we thank God again that 
He knows you. He knows me. He knows our family. He knows what we what we in need of. Because the Bible says in Philippians 4, verse 19, but my God shall supply our each and every need according to the religion of the Lord by Christ Jesus. So we thank God for his word. His word will not return to him more. Jesus tarried God's will and continue to pray for us as we continue to pray for you, for you as well. Have a blessed, wonderful, safe weekend. Um, and, re- and remember, if you are able to go, go to the house of God. Amen. God have graced us for the race that he prepared for us. So we can go out of, get out of our comfort zone and go into the byways and the, and the byways and, and highway, highways and compel people to come to the Savior now of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. God bless you. God keep you. This is my prayer. Good night.